Today I will be talking to you guys and sharing five tips that I think that you should consider when it comes down to opening up a business or if you're new to starting your business. So the first thing you should do, the first, first, first thing you should do before I even get into the tips is ask yourself, is this what you really want to do? Because it's a lot of work. I'm in the process of starting my business up. I never launched it yet, but I have like all of my stuff. I think I'm just waiting on me at this point. So before you start your business up, make sure it's something that you want to do. So when you figure out what you want to do, how you want to do it, you need to sit down and create a business plan. So how you want to do it will be inside of that business plan too, I guess. Create a business plan and figure out your one to two. Some people say one to three, but figure out your one to two year projections, meaning how much money do you think or how much money is your business going to make within two years? Figure that out. Write your business plan out and figure out your one to two year projections. I think that's a good move. Everybody jump into it. They don't have a business plan. If you don't have a plan, what are you, what is your goal? Like, what, what is, what's your plan? Like, you don't have a plan. What's your plan? So that's number one. Find a business plan. Write it out. Okay, tip number two. File an LLC. A lot of people get LLCs and trademarks mixed up. And a lot of people want to jump out and get a trademark first. But I think it's smart to get an LLC. Your trademark protects your name, but I feel that they're kind of pricey. So, well, depending on what you consider pricey, but a trademark protects your business name. So it's important to get a trademark if you have a name that you don't want taken. But I don't think you should jump and get a trademark as soon as you start your business because you're paying a lot of money for something that's not making you money, if that makes sense. You should get an LLC because it protects you on the personal side. If something happens to your business, or anything like that, or somebody trying to sue you, they're not going to come behind, or they are going to come behind, or they can come behind your personal money or your personal belongings. But if you have an LLC that protects you from them trying to drag you through it, they're actually taking your business to court versus taking you to court. going to court, but your business is going to court because your business is its own entity. It don't have to come into your personal life if you get an LLC. A LLC basically limits the liability to the resources of the business. Okay, tip number three. Tip number three is for you guys to get an EIN number. An EIN number basically is a social security number for your business. It's making your business become its own identity, giving it a, a person, I guess. So your EIN number comes in handy if you want to basically um, open a business bank account, if you want to file um, your business for income tax. If you want to get a business license, you need an EIN. It's important to get an EIN because it gives your business a social security number. It's a nine digit number that identifies your business. So get an EIN number. Third step, get an EIN number. Tip number four, I find a lot of people always talk about EIN numbers, but a lot of people don't talk about DUNS numbers, which I call it. I don't know if they say DUNS, but a DUNS number. Get a DUNS number for your DUNS number basically tracks your business credit. You know how you look up your social security number and it shows your personal credit score? So your DUNS number is for your business credit. A lot of people don't talk about it, but I think it's important if you want to build business credit and show your business is worthy of getting a line of credit, a DUNS number. So when it comes down to the DUNS number, I think if you have a contract through the government agencies, they require you to have a DUNS number. So if you have a business that's like a um, contract for the government, you have to have a DUNS number. But that's an important step or an important tip that I feel a lot of people leave out or don't talk about. And heck, some people don't even know about it. So get a DUNS number. Tip number five, last but not least, the bonus tip. Do not talk yourself out of it. If you have an idea in your head, if you feel like even if you don't feel like you have an idea in your head or if you want to start a business, start it. Why not? The worst thing you could do is come up with this amazing idea and back out from it. You basically backing out from something that could possibly change your life. 
Don't get scared and talk yourself out of it. Humans, human nature, we do that. We have a brilliant idea and we talk ourselves out of it. Or we share the information with a friend, our close relative, and we value our family and friends' opinions. So they talk us out of it because they basically are setting limitations for themselves and they're projecting it on us. So don't talk yourself out of starting your business. If you want to start one, start one. The worst thing you could do is fail, I guess. That's not even the worst thing because in order to get success, you have to fail. So don't be scared to fail. Don't be scared to try again and try again, you know? Because if you have step A and step A don't work, you have step B. And if B don't work, you have C. And then you have 26 alphabets. So just go down the whole alphabet and figure it out. But don't give up on it because it's not easy. But um, being broke and working your whole life till your body's broken up for somebody else is not easy as well. So want to be an entrepreneur? Want to start your business? Go for it. This is the sign. This is your sign. You're trying to figure out hmm, I don't know if I should do it. This is your sign from God. This is your sign from the universe. Start your business. But follow these four tips and make sure, make sure you want to really do it. Follow those four tips. They're very crucial. I feel they're very crucial to your business and they make a big difference if you want a successful business, especially when it comes down to your paperwork side. But have fun and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh,